book 150. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the innocent criminal and the king's new tax. That's right, the innocent criminal and the king's new tax. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, there was a powerful king who enjoyed nothing more than to increase his riches and acquire new things, even if he had to commit evil acts to accomplish this. One day, this king issued a decree to all the realms under his authority, and he ordered that all men and women under his control must pay a new tax to the crown, and this new tax was due immediately. The decree stated that failure to pay this new tax was punishable by death. Consequently, the same day that this decree was issued, the king's men went about from region to region, collecting what was owed. In one region, the king's men found a poor man, who was one of my ancestors no less, who could not pay the new tax. So, they arrested him and placed him in chains with the others that could not pay. All those who could not pay the tax were taken before the king to stand judgment and either be pardoned or executed. This poor man, my ancestor, stood before the king and was asked why he did not pay. My king and my lord, the poor man said, I work for a rich man who owns many lands, has many crops, and he also has plenty of riches of his own. But this man, instead of paying the king's tax with his own money, he seized the wages he paid to his workers, and he used our wages to pay the tax. Now, the poor workers like myself cannot afford to pay your tax. This news enraged the king, not because he cared about the poor man, but because he knew that he would have more riches if the poor man, as well as the rich man, both paid the tax. The king then raised his scepter to proclaim his judgment on the case before him. Here is my divine judgment, the king proclaimed. The rich man who has taken from the poor man to pay my tax and has not paid my tax with his own possessions is sentenced to death, and this judgment cannot be undone. The king then commanded the poor man to tell him who the rich man was so that his soldiers might go and seize him. The poor man, who was at first cowering before the king, stood up straight and his expression changed from fear to courage. He then spoke the words of power, and the chains about his wrists and legs fell from his flesh and rattled on the floor. I am no mere poor man, the poor man said. I have come from the realm of the ancestors and the gods, and the rich man that you seek is the rich man sitting on the throne. You have been given more than any man in this realm, and you have been blessed beyond measure. Yet you have made this new text to further take from those with less than you. So you will be judged according to your own judgment, and this very day you shall die for your wickedness. Then the king fell dead before the entire assembly, and the kingdom he had built was broken up and destroyed. And so the morning motivation of today is the innocent criminal and the king's new tax. No matter what your status in life may be, I guarantee you that you have been blessed with something that you can use to fulfill your purpose on earth. However, sometimes we can get in a cycle of overlooking our own gifts because we are focusing on the gifts of others. And if we do not control our heart, we might seek to take what was given to another instead of utilizing what is already ours. When we do this, we store up evil in our lives and we progressively get worse over time. And when we least expect it, we will be called to account for our deeds. And the things we have done unto others will undoubtedly be done unto us. So today, nurture your own gifts and learn how to use what the gods have given to you. And as you go out and chase your dreams, you should strive to always do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.